Alright, hello everyone. This is G-Shock High Fashion Channel. Today, we're gonna have a look at unexpected collaboration G-Shock watch. As I mentioned, I didn't expect this purchase at all. This is just in this sort of like an impulse purchase because I found this at a pretty good price. And instead of not buying anything, collecting money for the higher end model, why not just grab this thing first so I could just be done with it and then I could focus with other gold. So for now, we're gonna have a look at the G-Shock 35th anniversary special release model. The Sanquan's X G Shock. So this will be the box on top here. Uh, similar uh, camouflage. This is the Tundra or the Arctic camo type of thing. So this why you gonna see all this colorway, lighter tone. Some goes over here again. It's silver glossy finish. You could see some reflection over there. And from the front is the Sanquan's brand logo. Sanquan's is the street style fashion brand based in China. I'm not a fan at all because I didn't know about the existence for this brand at all until Casio announced the release for this model so that's it I have no idea about the brand I've never owned any of the clothing line but I looked it up first before film this video and it is pretty good I really like the idea the, the message behind the brand as well so yes that just gonna leave it there looking from the side of the box similar thing in uh, like the tone of green and we have white and cream or off-white and then brown or light brown this is indeed the colorway uh, that you are going to find in those Arctic region, which is the main theme for this release, Tundra, again. So this will be the back uh, part of the box, GA700SKZ-7ADR and DI over here, indicating that this one over here is a non-JDM version, and that is also why this thing is cheaper. I have no idea why. The walls are just the same, the box are just the same, but the price is different. The retail price for this in Japan is 21,000 yen, and making this the most expensive GA700 out yet, if I'm not mistaken though. Even the Eric case is cost lesser than this. And I think I know why, because if you look at this thing, you know what, let me put it up right away. It's very, very nice. Pop it up and bam, look at this. All of a sudden, something that's very, very bright and vibrant. Even all this uh, frame right now, look at that. Let me open this thing part. Ooh, 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 look at that. So this will be all the booklet. So uh, the one I'm holding down, this is the international warranty card. This will be the manual booklet 5522. I already covered a full video just talking about this module. So if you go check the one out in this video, however, we're gonna have a look at the design of the box, design of the watch, the thin case, full thought and opinion, and all that. Only less function talk. Anyway, here it is again. Sound quants at. Uh, some writing similar uh, type of finishing as the one here really reflective as well and it goes anti-clockwise so s a n k u n z similar type of thing you, you can actually feel it and we have similar camouflage pattern as well and bam look at that everything is in orange out of nowhere and there is the thing case in there in olive green yeah this is more like a yellowish hue green Anyway, here it is. Everything is in orange, and if you look outside, very white, and look inside, very vibrant. Man, this is indeed a very nice thing as well. When you open it up, the unboxing experience for this is amazing, man. It's like, wow, it's like brightening up your eyes. Eye candy. Anyway, so more branding uh, logo. The Sun Quans of the yeah, Outlet, similar to the one at the box over here. Similar things again in black colorway, and we have Sun Quan's writing all around. So starting from here, S A N K U A Z Sun Quan's. I believe I nailed it correctly for the pronunciation because this is in Asian, in Chinese. So I'm not sure if I did pronounce it correctly, but I do think it is. And we have more Sun Quan's over here in black colorway as well, and. You know what, this type of thing is reminds me of the DW6901, the undefeated in green colorway because of these all writings over here. You can check the uh, boxing review video for that model as well. Okay now, let's pop it up in 3, 2, 1, bam. <laughs> the watch, look at that, almost camouflaged with the box, look at that, very very nice. White colorway though, I mean this had been a while since the last time I unboxed a white color G-Shocks. Even though I'm not a big fan of white color G-Shock today, you know what? Why not? Just why not making this video to make things fresh? Man, now when I look at this watch again, it really reminds me of why I'm into white watches at the first place. 
they are very very nice they are very bold and as you are seeing right now look at that this thing popping up very very well this is indeed a watch that you are gonna wear when you want some attention especially if you are uh, wearing something that is very very nice or very uh, street style you want to be taken notice anyway let me uh, this one now and show you guys this will be the price tag but since this one is the non JDM version no price on there but they are listed all the function that this model have you can read it over there and at the back here a barcode similar to the one on the box yeah that's about it over here let me remove this so it won't disturb at all and bam here it is look at the watch over there it features a white uh, base GA700 but I looked it up in G-Shock Japan website and I don't think there are any G8700 had ever been released yet that comes with a white watch face. All of them just simple black silver index but with white band and bezel. In this case overall is in white. So this is indeed a very new thing as well and that is also one of the uh, major point when I'm considering whether if I should take this one or not whether it is uh, just a labeling on the watch or it is a totally brand new watch in this case totally new so that's why I grabbed this as well even though still not a big fan of this but it is indeed look really 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 high fashion from the sides we're gonna have a look at two buttons in circle shape with texture on top that are similar to every G8700 as I'm wearing right now as well this is from the Big Bang Black also 35th anniversary release model this is in all black this one is in all white totally different thing look at that man anyway both sides goes the same with three screws to slot the uh, the bezel for this model the writings for the G-Shock lettering and everything that uh, written on the bezel is in off white yeah still white though but slightly different tone and also as you are seeing right now we have the uh, camouflage color pattern in pink and dark green which is different from the one on the box let me compare right away look at that the one on the box is lighter tone of brown or light brown and the watch however is in pink like totally soft pink the green on the box is lighter and the one on the watch is totally dark green so like a forest green totally different tone although they have similar uh, pattern by the way look at that they didn't overdo it which makes I appreciate this a lot this is white base with just some uh, horizontal uh, or sideways uh, pattern of camouflage I mean look at that real nice very very cool and I believe this also gonna match very well the Sun Kwan's brand uh, street style or outfits that I did release a sweater a lot of things that related to this uh, model as well we have Sun Kwan's over here on the watch band to represent the brand as well in silver colorway not glossy as the one on the box it's just matte finishing overall a build or I mean every, everything in here is matte finish that's it that's it okay down on the watchman this part moving into the upper part similar thing again but the band keeper is different we have flat part over here and two circle shaped uh, part at the bottom we have Sun Kwan's again for the branding on top of here it's in pink colorway lighter tone of pink and it also comes with a special white buckle which is surprising as well a lot of people didn't like this uh, resin or plastic buckle but you gotta admit that by using a resin or plastic parts as a buckle now they are able to make I mean make this part colorful before this we could only limit it to a black or dark blue or silver or matte silver that's it not, not a lot of colorway that's the point since they use resin material, now we could have white buckle, which I'm gonna blend in very, very well with the watch, even though it's not as tough. But anyway, if you look down below it, we're gonna have a look at Japan sign buckle. If I'm not mistaken, this will be the first time Casio released a plastic buckle right here with Japan sign below it. Most of them, even this guy over here I'm holding now, have Thailand sign below it. In this case, Japan. So there's indeed added a value to the watch. When uh, I mean, most people like something that has Japan on it, so this is indeed a very, very nice thing. Now, moving down at the bottom layer, no texture, no pattern, no writings at all. Both sides go the same, except for the uh, code for the uh, watch band, and that's about it. And now, have a look at the back plate over here. Simple design, just light engraving with the uh, Sun Kwan's brand logo again. 
which is over here in the middle here I have no idea what this thing means but it looks very simple it looks very cool and if you know what this thing means leave a comment down below I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty helpful as well so what we have here Firefox 22 a window for the module GA700 SKZ stainless steel back Japan movement case in Thailand so made in Thailand watch now back to the watch face you're seeing right now a positive display in white colorway as well I believe they added a white sheet of paper somewhere behind the display over there making the display looks white is compared to uh, default uh, display which is more like a yellowish in this case whitish and mess very very well with the whole thing and also the hour seven minutes hand comes in silver not as dull as the index you barely able to see the index though because the silver on there is very very light tone although the hour seven hands I believe just similar to most GS700 G-Shock they just recycle the parts but it's all fine you can still see the time tell the time better and you know let me press the light button over here which LED in white which is pretty hard to see as well because everything on this piece is already in white colorway but there it is and for the function was we are gonna have a look at day date and time at home time you could swap to digital time display instead if you want to do so using the adjust button and you could have quick access to the stopwatch mode as well directly all the way from home time stop and reset and if you press mode of course you could go to uh, first mode will be the uh, countdown timer Hold on a second. yeah default to 10 minutes and then we're gonna go to the I can't see it actually world time and then we're gonna go to alarm and then stopwatch with a target time actually if you're wondering and back to home time very much simple for a sport watch although I'm not sure if you are going to be wearing this as a sport watch you're totally gonna to ruin this this is not as a beater watch man if I'm gonna wear this I'm definitely gonna wear this for fashion time piece only just to match with my outfits just to be cool just to be a uh, bold sometimes you, you want some attention you want people to take notice what you are wearing or matching with your sneakers if you have a white sneakers this, this is indeed a nice option and if you are into street style fashion brand this is indeed a very nice add up into your collection as well because I mean this is indeed a very new thing and yeah why not just try it out and moving on let's put this thing on wrist and let me show you guys how this thing gonna looks like when you wear this or when you see someone wearing this on the street at least you know what that person is wearing I'm wearing it at holes number 3 from the top if you are wondering I have a 15 centimeter circumference wrist very skinny person but look at that the fit is not as bad you have some gap over there but I'm fine on that it makes the uh, some space for insulation which is nice actually and look at that the white colorway on the is very vibrant let me put the box out of the frame here and the watch as well you can see right away if someone is wearing a Sanquons or just generic list model it's very very obvious I mean look at that look at it from this angle from the front from the bottom and I mean this design is very very simple since they use dark green on here it's really contrasting with the overall colorway making this watch very visible at daytime or even at nighttime man very very nice very very cool if you are a fan of white watches though if you're not I have nothing to say it's you either like it or you don't and I believe that sums up all the things that you need to know from me about this Sanquans S G Shock G A seven zero zero S K Z G Shock watch. I hope you guys found this video useful, informative, and entertaining as well. For every reference, I'll add a purchase link in the description box down below if I'm able to find one. If you want to grab one of this, go through that. And that's all. Thank you very very much for your support, guys. I really really appreciate it. Subscribe to see more contents like this again, man. Just subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and um uh...